Okay, I was talking with Christine about working on prepared applique. And I want to show you, um, this is how I do it with the prepared, or the wash away applique paper by CNT Publishing. And when you buy it, it looks like this. Did you get that, Tim? Oh. And so I put the glue stick on one side, and I've already cut out my shape, making sure that it was, um, there's no lumps or bumps. It's really smooth. The nice thing with this paper is you can trace the shape out on one um, one piece of the paper and then fold it over so you don't have to trace out five or six shapes, just one. Staple it together and then you can cut out five or six at a time and then just unstaple them if you want. So I did the, whoops, I did the one side. Now I'm going to do the other side. I know that this end is going to tuck under a berry. So I don't have to worry about that, but I do want this end to be nice and pointy. So I folded it over, and I'm gonna just take this little stylus, which is actually a bamboo skewer, and I'm taking little tiny tucks so that it's nice and smooth, and folding the, the edge over, and I'm gonna check it. I'm, giving, I'm gonna come back to the point though. So when I flip it over, I want to make sure that I have really nice, smooth edges. And you can see it's sticking out a little bit. So I'm just going to take my skewer and kind of push that edge back a teeny bit so it's out of the way. And then when I flip it over, I still have a really nice point on this motif. And I'm going to show you another one that has a curved inside curve. And typically we clip these but this is such a gentle curve that I'm not going to because um, I've just turned a bunch of them and they they performed really nice. So I'm going to glue that edge, flip it over, and make sure that it's looking really smooth and it's pressed down. And then I'm going to do this side. Um, and I don't know if I showed you, the glue stick is just a washable school glue stick by Elmer's. In the late summer, when school supplies are out, um, the big chain stores have these in big boxes of like 20 or 25 in a box. I buy them and then I store them in my refrigerator so that they last longer. So I'm going to check my edges here. You'll notice I took little tiny tucks around that outer curve. And I'm going to come back to that point, but I want to make sure everything else looks really good. So I've got a nice edge. You'll see a little bit of a wobble here. Um, if I was sewing this down by hand, I could take my needle and I could pull that wobble right under. Um, if not, if I'm going to sew it by machine, you can probably just pinch it a little bit and get that little wobble out of there. So now let's come back to this point because I'm overlapping. I'm just going to scoot him back with my uh, bamboo skewer that my husband and I cut down. And I take the other end and flatten him down. Now if you're going to um, sew this down by hand, this glue can get pretty stiff. For the rest of this part, it's okay sewing by hand, but when you get to these multiple layers, you're going to be pushing kind of hard. Um, but I still sew them down by hand as well, so let's flip it over looks pretty good. I got a little bit of a wobble there. Maybe I can just poke that out. And then let me show you a uh, circle. I'm just uh, going to cut a seam allowance. It's fairly, it's less than a quarter inch. It's probably about 3 16 um, My designs, I have a lot of circles because I think um, when I enter them in shows, judges are looking for perfectly round circles, and I think a lot of times they look good as uh, fillers. So I start here and hold it down, and then I just take a bunch of little tucks as I go around the circle. Maybe black wasn't the best fabric to show you guys. I already see that I'm going to have a wobble to fix as I was going around. Uh, 
Um, you can also do the perfect circles by Karen, whoops, by Karen K. Buckley. I have those as well. So it looks pretty good. Um, where there's a little bit of a pokey, you can kind of go back with your skewer and fix it, fix it. You know, we really want them to look nice and round. Again, if you were sewing this down by hand, you can pull those um, tucks when your when your needle comes over this area. Well, I should do it this way. When your needle comes over an area, like this little point, you can kind of tuck him under with your needle. So that's um, a little bit on prepared applique. Thank you.